Today, we're looking at all the differences between the apparently similar Boxer and Pitbull. Both of these powerful breeds have positive and negative reputations associated with them, either for their previous or current roles in society. Let's take a closer look at how these breeds differ despite their similar appearances. Welcome back to the Boxer Channel. If this is your first time here, my name's Charlotte and I'm a certified canine leader here at FemraCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Boxer and then how to become high-level canine leaders that can raise the perfect Boxer. So, if you're a lifelong lover, thinking about getting one or just started your journey with your new Boxer, then this is the channel for you. So, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you never miss a future Boxer video. So, let's dive into today's video and we'll take a closer look at everything that makes these breeds so similar, yet so different. The Boxer came from an offshoot of the German Bullenbeza, which was used for hunting wild boar, baiting bulls and protecting its owner. These activities were long out of style by the early 1900s and the boxer we know today was a result of downsizing the fierce temperament and size of the Blumbizer. They are still excellent protection dogs today and often found working in police and military organisations. The pit bull, as it's commonly called, is actually recognised as the American Staffordshire. The term pit bull is a category referring to its ancestry as a dog developed to participate in the 19th century blood sport like bull baiting and dog fighting. The pit bull we know today is the American version of the English Staffy and is larger than its English cousin. In 1936, the American Kennel Club recognised the breed had become different enough to warrant being registered separately, and the American pit bull has been the focus of corporate logos, military awards, and earned the reputation of being a nanny dog because of their fondness of children. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. I just wanted to quickly let you know, if you didn't know already, I have a completely free course on the principles of canine behaviour. As a canine behaviourist, I've put this together with my years of experience, skill set, and knowledge to help you understand all the areas of canine behavior that are important for you to become a high-level canine leader and then you can fix your dog's problem behaviors at home or maybe take the first steps into working with dogs with problem behaviors. So again, if you want to check out that course, it's completely free of charge. The principles of canine behavior, there'll be a link down in the description box below and I can't wait to see you over on that course. Both breeds are lean and athletic and considered on the large size of the medium breeds, with the boxer weighing in at 55 to 80 pounds and the pit bull ranging from 40 to 70 pounds. They have boxy heads and square builds, but the boxer genuinely has larger jowls that lead to drawling and slobber. They have naturally folded ears and tails with a slight curve, but it's very common in the US for both breeds to be cropped and docked, which is banned here in the UK except in the rarest of circumstances. Their coats are thin and sleek, showing off their powerful muscles, and both may need an extra layer of protection in colder climate. Boxers' coats can be several colours, but they are generally a brown base with dark muzzles and ear tips and may have a spot of white. Pitbulls come in a vast range of coat colours, but black, brindle, grey and white, with or without markings, are most common. This brings us right into the trainability and intelligence of each breed. The boxer is highly intelligent and motivated to rise to a high level of obedience and complexity. Their personalities are surprisingly soft, meaning their feelings can be hurt by harsh or inconsistent corrections. Their playful nature can make them both extremely easy or extremely difficult to train, so they're best for experienced owners. Similarly, the pit bull is very intelligent and easy trained by an experienced leader that can keep their focus. They are capable of being highly trained, but you'll find they'd prefer to snuggle with the family as they are dedicated to working roles. Like the boxer, they are also quite sensitive to emotions and have soft personalities despite their blood ancestry. Pitbulls will also do best in stable homes that can give them plenty of affection and maintain consistent boundaries. Both are wonderful family dogs, though their temperaments and motivations are different. The Boxer bonds closely with its family and is a fierce protector. The breed is brilliant in its roles with police and military organisations and excels in protection competitions. In the home, they're extremely playful and even clownish in their antics. Their high energy means that they can easily trip or paw small children or small animals when excited. So as their leader, you need to be dedicated to burning off their energy frequently. Pitbulls are also an excellent family dog, maybe even more so than the boxer. 
Pit bulls have quite a bit of energy too, but are able to settle themselves faster with less exercise and are extraordinarily gentle with babies and children. They are very loving and affectionate with their family and can even warm up quickly to strangers. Of course, both breeds need a lot of socialisation early on and throughout their life and it's especially crucial in breeds like these with protective instincts. Neither breed is ideal for first time or novice canine leaders since their high energy and reputations demand that they be the best behaved canines they can be. You'll want to see if the pit bull is allowed in the area you live in and if they are prepared to be in the ambassador of the breed for their whole of their life. Boxers thrive in active homes where they can go with their families on long walks or runs to burn off their energy and be with their people. Experienced and dedicated canine leaders will find the boxer is a supreme all-around family companion that loves to play and cuddle. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down on the comment section below. And don't forget if you are new here to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated boxer videos coming here every single week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Boxer Channel.